guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here. So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for January the 11th until the 22nd. Now I've done things a little bit differently this time. Um, this is actually a continuation of a reading that I started on the, in the Divine Masculine. So you may want to stop this video, watch the Divine Masculine <clears throat> reading first. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to be attaching the video to this, so what am I talking about? Um, but yeah, um, what I've done here is called an elemental reading. So I've pulled four cards for the feminine, four for the masculine, which represent um, each element. All right. So you can see where uh, the energy is lacking, where there's blockages, and where there's movement. Okay, so I'm stopping the video here and uh, so that you can watch that part of the reading, and then um, I'm going to be pulling... Um, three cards, a past, present, and future, uh, from the Call It Baron Reed, which I'll be reading to you, as well as one card from the bottom of the deck, and so that will give you a little bit more focused um, message. All right, see you in a bit. Cheers. Hi, Masculine. So this is going to be reading for you guys for January the 11th until the 22nd. I'm doing it every 11 days, um, and that will allow me to get caught up on the readings and emails and whatnot. Um, I've been absent for over, over well over a week, and it's because my internet got shut off. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, be patient. If you've ordered a reading, it is coming. All right. So I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. I think what I'm going to do is. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, it's called an elemental reading. It's um, a reading, reading I kind of created earlier. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you guys or not, but basically I'm going to pull four cards which represent all the elements uh, for the feminine and same for the masculine. What I've done here is I actually got four different decks. Um, so each deck represents an element, okay, and so, um, yeah, I'll be able to see the story a little bit more clear. So anyway, I'm going to use these decks, um, and I will put the name of the decks in the description box below. Um, I can't remember the name for all of them. Okay, so... I'll pull all the cards for the masculine side first, and then I'll do the feminine side, okay? So this is going to be for the physical reality. So the hermit. Okay, so for the emotional chariot. And I think this is for the mental. Yep, two of swords. Let's put these up here. Can you see a bit better or are they too far away? Probably too far away, sorry. Okay, and so let me just move on. Okay, so this is going to be for spiritual, Eight of Wands. All right, so same thing for the feminine side. So the physical <clears throat> is the Three of Pentacles. Emotional is Queen of Cups. Um, spiritual, Ace of Wands again. And mental is, wow, Ten of Swords. A masculine got that in the past position. Um, so I'll, I'll get into it. Okay, so... The bottom of the deck is going to represent the energy that's shared between the two, and that's the Two of Pentacles. So that rep represents balance. 
Okay, and so I've also shuffled these cards. So I'm going to pull one card, which will represent the energy in the present moment for the feminine, is the solar plexus chakra. And for the masculine, wow, two of cups, spiritual union. Cool. All right, so let me just have a look at these. I, I can see them a little bit better if they're up here. Okay, so what I see here is the masculine feels deeply connected with the feminine in the 5D. He is at a crossroads. He saw that crossroads being affected by the feminine in the Twin Flame reading. He is in the hermit mode. However, he desires to either communicate or embody that Eight of Wands. Um, remember in the Twin Flame reading, there was the Eight of Wands coupled with the Knight of Wands in the past. So beautiful synchronicity here with the Eight of Wands and a desire to move forward emotionally um, between the two readings. So uh, in the 3D reality, like I said, he is in hermit mode. He wants to move forward. He desires to move forward. Um, he feels like he's moving forward emotionally, um, however mentally he's at a crossroads, okay? So, but more importantly, he, you know, in the moment, he, he's feeling this deep love and connection with the feminine. On the feminine side, we have the Three of Pentacles, which represents a, a firm, solid foundation. So, she is working on the 3D reality, or she's focused on stability, um, she may be trying to manifest a long-term goal, and remember we did see that energy being represented on her side. Um, spiritually, she's, uh, it's that Kundalini awakening in the Ace of Wands showed up as a shared energy between the two at the heart. Um, so spiritually, there is this ignition switch, there's this go like go time. And... Uh, mentally, though, she is um, trapped in the mind or putting an end to negative thoughts. And again, cool synchronicity. We see that process happening in the Twin Flame reading. Um, emotionally, she feels like the Queen of Cups. Masculine, emotionally, is a chariot. So that's movement, and he's moving towards the Queen of Cups, who is receptive. And she embodies unconditional love. So as an overall energy between the two, we have two pentacles. And so this is balance. This is feeling pulled in two different directions. It's making a decision, having that seed of intention planted. And as it does, and you know, it takes root, it manifests in the, into the 3D. Um, there's a sense of feeling uneasy, unsteady. So the message is to bend with the wind, to go with the flow, which was the message for the um, feminine side of the twin flame reading. So both sides are trying to find balance, peace, and, and harmony in all areas of their life um, so that their dreams can be manifested into the 3D. Okay, so let's go through each position. So the hermit is somebody who seeks solitude um, in order to um, gain spiritual wisdom. And they've purposely disconnected from the 3D um, in order to go within, to find their own light within. So we saw this spiritual um, journey definitely on the, the masculine side of the reading for the Twin Flames. Um, so, you know, the energy is turned away from the connection at the moment. Um, and like I said, that's because he's finding his life light within. So this is the, in the physical. He may be in a in the hermit mode. Spiritually, he's the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, like I said, turned up in the past position uh, for the masculine, um, the distant past, actually. So this is um, feeling motivated, feeling inspired, feeling like, you know, the pedal is to the metal, basically. The engine um, you know, is you're, you're moving forward with a great deal of power and passion. Your goals are within sight. And so things are starting to manifest into reality. And because of that, it empowers you to move forward. So this is accelerated motion, but it's also communication 
Cupid's arrow. So the masculine spiritually feels uplifted. He feels like he is gaining spe speed in terms of his spiritual journey. Um, and he's feeling very motivated, very powerful. Now the the arrow, or the cupid's arrows are directed towards the twin, to you know the feminine. She's holding, and you know that ace of wands in her hands, and it's almost like this beacon of light. Um, so she, she, you know, she is. Um, she feels inspired. She feels like she's ready. She feels that you know there's a lot of intuitive. Um, answers that are coming to her, especially with the, her being the queen of cups up there, who is, you know, a very intuitive person, and this is a kundalini awakening, so there's this, um, you know, receptivity to spirit and to the masculine. But let's go back to the masculine. So, um, he is a chariot emotionally. So this is taking control of your life, taking those reins and directing your energy, focusing your energy on the external world. It is overcoming obstacles, controlling the vortex with your surfboard, right? It's like using your environment um, to your advantage in order to move forward. But this is really, he wants to, he desires to move forward with this spiritual union. You know, he wants to feel connected. He wants to um, come out of the hermit state and share his love, but pursue things that make him happy. So he's, he's emotionally, he's, you know, taking control of his life. And you can see that reflected in the Twin Flame reading as well. He was the Eight of Cups. He was moving away from emotions that were, you know, overpowering him um, and clearing that energy uh, with the four swords healing his heart and the, the sacral chakra was in the future so becoming um, open you know clearing that blockage okay so the two of swords is in his mental space so this is a decision um, needs to be made and it is a feminine energy being represented here so maybe he feels that he's waiting for a decision from the feminine right it's this chariot is moving towards the two of swords so um we we saw the two of swords energy in the crowning uh for the feminine okay so i did mention there's a sense that maybe she's waiting for the masculine to come right the, um the two of wands was um a shared energy between the two of them so he had the ace of pentacles which is a new start 3d reality and it's like they both as a crowning energy, one moved through that do open door to expand, you know, to grow that Ace of Wands into the Two of Wands. So um, he is at a crossroads. He's making decisions mentally, um, and it all has to do with love and spirituality. So again, at in the present moment that he's feeling the two of cups so this is recognizing your true love and having the heart chakra opened and as a result it opens higher levels of consciousness so on the 5d level you know we see the third eye chakra being activated and his uh the third eye chakra came in in the past position for the masculine so there and he also you know had that incredible card at the end a message from the universe that has to do with consciousness and awakening so there's this spiritual advancing he's advancing to higher and higher levels um, spiritually and emotionally definitely and things are, tar are starting to pick up speed right so he's moving towards um, breaking through barriers but ultimately he's trying to find balance within himself and within the physical reality so the feminine 3d three of pentacles this is putting work and effort into creating a, a long-term goal the ten of pentacles so it's very similar energy to the page right that she got the page in the future in terms of what she was bringing into the union so this is it could mean you know um 
Well, what it is, is, is using your skills to create abundance and, um, and being recognized for all of your accomplishments, right, by your peers, but, um, and feeling stable in what you've created and knowing that there's still more work to do. So in the 3D reality, although she feels grounded, that, that she feels that there's still a lot of work to do. Just one moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, so um, she is working towards the future. She's, her attention, her focus is on manifestation. So spiritually, again, it's the Ace of Wands, Go Light, Go Time, Kundalini Awakening. So she um, is, is directly con uh, connected, not only to the masculine, but to the collective consciousness. And, you know, she is tapping into the power of the universe in order to harness that power and, and create what she, you know, to manifest her desires into 3D. So this is, you know, wanting to start a new life that is more aligned with your spirituality, feeling inspired, and, um, you know, it's a thrust forward towards that. And, you know, it's a spark of creativity. So she's, I'm seeing like this artistic expression here, right? So three of pentacles um, is using your talents to create abundance and this is inspiration creative um you know creative energy so the heart is or sorry the emotional is she's the queen of cups that's beautiful so the energy is directed towards the masculine um emotionally she loves him very very deeply and she feels content um, emotionally within herself she feels content enough to be able to be an open vessel to give love unconditionally regardless of what's going on mentally physically or spiritually she is, she her heart is wide open um, however she may be closed in the physical okay we did see that on her side of the reading mentally she's um, she feels excluded or shut out and you know it's a self-imposed prison of the mind but it's because somebody's making her feel that way and it's probably because of that indecision but anyway she is giving love unconditionally and she's also very intuitive Con you know like I mentioned earlier with the ace of wands um, she's using her inner knowing to guide her and that's why she's feeling so emo emotionally grounded Okay, so mentally, ten of swords. So she wants to put an end to um, negative thing, thinking. She wants to be released from that prison. Um, you know, and so, yeah. Um, we can see on the, her side of the reading that a lot of her blockage in the 3D has to do with mental noise and it's coming from the past, from the Five of Cups, from having expectations about the future and because it didn't work out, it, it broke her heart, right? And so she didn't close herself off emotionally, but she did close herself off mentally and in the 3D. And it's because she is concentrating on growing her spiritual vision in the 3D reality. So in her present position is the solar chakra. I can't talk. Sorry, solar plexus chakra. Um, so this is um, having power and confidence. Um, you know, it is a blockage. <clears throat> it's a lower chakra. So she is trying to find strength and power within herself to pursue passions um, that you know, spark her or to open her up, create, you know, in a creative way and emotionally. <clears throat> Sorry. So, yeah, so this, you know, gives us a snapshot of both aspects. I did say it is a masculine reading, um, but I did kind of want to, you know, introduce the elemental reading to you. So I'm going to pull some additional cards. I'll add this video to the feminine side as well. So let me just pull these back. 
so we're back. Okay, so let me just give this another quick shuffle. All right, so past, present, and future. Between worlds, yep. So I definitely picked up on that transitory type of energy on the, on the feminine side. Present is co-create. Oh my God, that's kind of interesting. The masculine got this in the past, and there's this whole idea of both aspects, and aspects desiring to co-create or manifest a long-term goal into the 3D, 3D reality to create this home. Um, masculine got the home in his present moment. Okay, so for the future is imagine oh my god these are such beautiful cards okay in the bottom of the deck no way oh my god exchanging gifts that's exactly the same card that was pulled as an overall energy for the masculine wow the uh the power synchronistic power right now is just incredible that's wow that's amazing i'm blown away okay so let's read these all right so between worlds And you can see the, the transitory state with the Three of Pentacles as well, right? Um, with the Ace as well. There's this new beginning, this new start. Um, but the feminine is working on opening up or putting an end to this mental noise. All right, so between worlds, where'd the card go? Okay, actually, just one second here. Okay, so... Transition, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. I can't believe two cards showed up that are exactly the same as the masculine. Amazing. So the relationship message. This is a time to explore the new energies between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship, and that is not to be dismissed or hurried. So, you know, this is no rush, right? It's kind of moving to a calmer state, moving from chaos from darkness to color and aliveness uh so she's on a journey to discover herself right and she had the you guys had the empress card as a final outcome so that's beautiful so number 40 co-create the masculine got this in his past position for the divine masculine reading but i will read it again okay so Creativity, art, and inspiration, fruition, manifestation, the relationship message. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you to up to new ideas you would never come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in unexpected ways. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You're going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is unique work of art now. Um, the very embodiment of beauty so here there was that self-discovery here again same thing there's that mere reflection on with both of these cards so um, a lot of going within internalizing um, what's happening emotionally and physically right what do you want what do you need um, what do you desire to co-create and so um, this is opening up your heart and you know, being in that reciprocative kind of energy. And that's what <clears throat> this card is all about. It's all about reciprocation, being open, right? Spirit is asking both of you to be open. Okay, so imagine in number 20. So the future is imagine. So turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning, aligning imaginary, sorry, aligning imagery and feelings, creative illusions. Um, 
So the relationship message. In matters of the heart, it is easy to daydream about others as means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, so step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners, sorry, step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that the, a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You will be changed for the better. Imagine that. So there you go. <clears throat> the chariot moving forward towards the Queen of Cups. What you desired, what you wanted to manifest into your reality is, is going to happen. What you imagine, you will manifest but you need to be open to it, right? Don't close off like that for a pentacle. So the number 27 is the overall energy. Uh, again, I bred this for the Divine Masculine because you got the same card as overall. So again, this is talking, you know, it was kind of reflecting on the Twin Flame reading where the King and Queen, Queen of Pentacles kept on showing up and that's creating that home. Um, Long-term stability and home-like um, security in the 3D, but doing it together as a king and queen. Oop, wrong page, hold on. Okay, so essential meaning. The law of giving and receiving currency trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. Uh, so the relationship message. Love is an, an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order to, for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gifts in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you. Love is truly yours today. Wow, so be open to love. Be that co-creator incredible all right so i do hope this helped you guys and i'm sending so much love your way and again if you've ordered a reading um, be patient i am my internet was shut off so there's a lot of um, work that i need to get caught up on um, but uh, sending love out to you guys all right peace cheers